In this video, you will see how Vistabel acts on motor neurons to reduce muscle activity for the temporary improvement in the appearance of moderate to severe vertical lines between the eyebrows seen at frown in adults up to 65 years old, when the severity of these lines has an important psychological impact for the patient. The presynaptic neuromuscular nerve ending contains membranous vesicles prepared to release its stored neurotransmitter, acetylcholine. Neuronal stimulation initiates a cascade of events that leads to the fusion of the neurotransmitter-containing vesicle with the nerve membrane. This process is facilitated by interaction between proteins on the vesicle and on the cell surface, which together form the snare complex. The membrane fusion results in the release of acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft by a process of exocytosis. The acetylcholine diffuses across the synaptic cleft and eventually binds to receptors on the muscle, leading to muscle contraction. This illustration represents a muscle in the body. Note the motor neuron extending into the muscle. Vistabel is injected directly into the affected muscle. After injection, the Vistabel core 150 kilodalton molecule dissociates from the surrounding protective accessory proteins. The binding domain of the Vistabel core molecule is the C-terminal portion of the heavy chain, which interacts with receptors on the nerve terminal. The Vistabel core molecule enters the nerve cell by a process of receptor-mediated endocytosis. The toxin is now contained in a membranous vesicle inside the cell. The light chain is then released into the cytoplasm of the nerve terminal, where it is available to cleave the snare proteins. In motor neurons, the light chain of the Vistabel core molecule blocks the release of acetylcholine by cleaving SNAP25, which is an essential component of the snare complex. When acetylcholine cannot be released, muscle contraction cannot occur. When injected intramuscularly at therapeutic doses, Vistabel produces partial chemical denervation of the muscle resulting in a localized reduction in muscle activity. There is evidence that re-innovation of the muscle may occur, thus slowly reversing muscle denervation produced by Vistabel.